On the 11th of October 2021, the founder of the Elohim Ministries, Wiseman Daniels, was visited by Ethiopian delegates in the person of Prophet Fasil Mark. During the course of the meeting, Prophet Fasil asked Wiseman Daniel how his journey and training was with late Prophet T.B. Joshua during his time of mentorship under him at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Wiseman Daniel states that the relationship between him and his late mentor T.B. Joshua was like that of Elijah and Elisha because the man of God was totally dedicated to God while he in turn was totally dedicated to his mentor. The relationship between me and my late mentor Prophet T.B. Joshua then could be likened to that of Elisha and Elijah. Why do I say Elisha and Elijah? It's because the lifestyle of Elijah was complete dedication to God. And the lifestyle of Elisha was complete dedication to his master. He never knew God. He only saw the strength of God in Elijah. He was moved to believe if I could submit totally to Elijah, I could be linked to the same power, strength, character, humility in my master. He goes on to narrate how he met the late prophet T.B. Joshua, a young graduate of mechanical engineering who had great desire for the work of God but had no one to guide him in the directions of the Lord. After an encounter with prophet T.B. Joshua at his church, an occasion where the man of God waved at him without knowing who he was. Several days after, he was privileged to have an opportunity to meet the prophet T.B. Joshua, introduce himself to him and express his zeal to be like him. The prophet accepted him as a servant of his, and that was how he got to be one of his servants and followers. He admired the man of God so much that he made up his mind to work under him with loyalty. He says the man of God taught him and made him understand never to look down on a human because angels can come to you in different ways and in any form. As a pupil and servant of the late prophet T.B. Joshua, whereas when Daniel says he received lectures from the man of God and spent several hours praying, which was all part of the formation. On a special occasion, he says the prophet T.B. Joshua took him and six other followers of his to the mountain to pray on their knees under the hot sun and narrates this as his first time of experiencing torture because his knees bled and hurt badly all of which he got used to after a period of two years. In 2010, he says, fellow servants Racine, Christopher, and John Chi were introduced to the church as wise men after being away with the prophet T.B. Joshua for three days. How powerful this man got after this event, he says, made him stick close to them with a great desire to be like them. And after three weeks, he was taken to the mountain by the man of God together with a fellow servant, Harry, and they were left alone in the prayer room there for four days. After which Prophet T.B. Joshua came back to them, held them as wise men. He baptized them and introduced them to the church, together with the first three, as the five wise men of the Sinaco Church of All Nations. Wise man Daniel went on, advising people listening to him to be good servants, sincere and humble to their masters. So marveled by wise man Daniel's testimony, Prophet Fasio asked wise man Daniel how he came about his ministry, the Elohim Ministries. Wise man Daniel narrates that, he was released by his master, the late prophet T.B. Joshua, in the month of March 2020, after his years of total submission and loyalty, and afterwards proceeded to the prayer mountain to inquire from God what his next move was going to be, as instructed by his mentor. And after four days of prayer and fasting, God revealed everything to him relating the ministry. God revealed everything relating to his ministry, the everlasting light of hope ministries, Elohim, which he already done. And that was how his ministry came into existence. The first he thanks him for making that time to meet with him, for it is the first time of the two men meeting, having only known and communicated to each other via video conferences for six months before this meeting. He acknowledges Wiseman Daniel for admiring his late master and mentor so much, and also for giving glory to God for every turn he had taken in life. He offers him an invitation to his home country, Ethiopia, for a meeting which will be held in late October 2021 in preparation for a prayer program which will be happening in February next year in which Wiseman Daniel will get to pray for the nation of Ethiopia. 
As Mandanio and his master were very, very close, um, even though uh, at some point, wise Mandanio had to leave the synagogue church of all nations to start his own ministry. Um, I don't think there was a time that two of them had any misunderstanding. I didn't hear of it. Um, so he was really um, looked after by prophet T.B. Joshua and he gave him good you know, uh, mentorship that even wise men Daniel and the other wise men, they don't forget about it. Each and every one of them appreciated what T.B. Joshua did um, what T.B. Joshua did in their lives. Uh, they are, I have not seen any of them that, you know, um, said any negative uh, things about Prophet T.B. Joshua. All of them are testifying of the good things that happened to them while they were with um, uh, Prophet uh, T.B. Joshua. T.B. Joshua was a real man of God. Whether you want to believe it, that's your own business. Uh, you don't want to believe it, you just leave it there. It's up to you. Um, I'm not telling you to believe it, but all I'm trying to say that TV Joshua was a real man of God who went about doing good things. I remember the people that came from outside uh, Nigeria a couple of years ago uh, that we are deported. Some of them didn't even have clothes to wear. Some did not even have water, food to drink, shelter. But um, Prophet T.B. Joshua surprised these people and gave them money. Not only money, he gave them uh, food, I can't remember how many bags of rice that were given to these people that very day, uh, that were given to these people, bags of rice, money, you know, um, uh, you know, clothes, them accommodation for free, food for free. And even while they were living synagogue, church of all nations, he gave them, I'm not sure how many millions of Naira that he gave those uh, returnees from is it deportees or returnees i don't know what you call them but anyway they came back from libya i think so yeah those guys came back from libya so he, he gave them money to get to go and start up a new life